So first you want to take a pair of old pants and just mark where you want them to be cut and cut your pants or shorts diagonally. I made this mistake and I cut it straight across. Definitely cut it diagonally. It will help you in the future because you want like the crotch area to be longer. So yeah, just cut them diagonally and cut them a lot longer than you actually want them because you can always go back and cut them shorter but you can't add on like more cloth that you've cut off. Now we want to give our shorts that distressed look, so you can take a pair of tweezers or scissors or any sharp tool and just pull the little threads out. This is going to kind of fray the bottom of your shorts and I like that more distressed look. You don't have to do this, but that's how I like my shorts. So I made these shorts with my friends and we went to Joann's to get the stuff you need. So you're going to need to get some dye and I really like powdered dye because you can really control the amount you use. So I just got this powdered dye by the brand Dylon or Dylan, I don't know how it's pronounced. But you're going to need dye, hot water, iodized salt, a container or bucket, gloves and then a measuring cup. So first we're going to start off with our hot water and then you're going to take a little iodized salt and put this in there. First you want to put your gloves on of course. Don't do this without gloves, you will stain your hands. You're going to fill about a 1 4th cup full of iodized salt and then pour this into the water and this will intensify your dye color. And then you're going to take your dye, I use the color Intense Violet, and you are going to pour this into the hot water. Don't pour all of it, just pour a little bit of it. So then you're going to take your shorts and dip them in there. You are going to fully dip them in there and just make sure you evenly coat all of it. Um, this is like the first layer, so this is like the light purple, and then it's going to slowly get darker. So yeah, um, evenly dip all your shorts in. And there's a lot of different methods you can ombre, but this is the way I did it. So yeah, just make sure they're completely dipped in there. I would recommend a bigger like bucket, but this is all I had. So I made this mistake, but make sure that you mix the dye together. See all these little like blue splotches on my shorts? You really want to mix the dye because I had like leftover like little pieces of dye that I didn't mix together. So now we're going to put more dye in and we're not going to pull the full packet in, but just more than the last time. So you're going to add on to that and here I'm mixing it together. So then you're going to dip like the, not like two thirds of your shorts in the upper two thirds. So not the full shorts, but just the upper two thirds of the shorts. And that's gonna be a little darker. And then you're gonna pour the rest of the dye in. So this is gonna be the darkest color. And I'm also adding a little bit of salt just to make it more like strong, the color. And mix it together. And then just pour the um, top like one third of your shorts. Or not pour, but dip in the top one third of your shorts. So that's what I'm doing. I'm just dipping in like the very top of my shorts and I'm holding it there for like 30 seconds. I held it for 30 seconds for like all of them. So I let my shorts dry for a good 24 hours. You don't have to let it dry for that long but I let mine dry for a really long time just to be sure I didn't want to lose any color in the wash. So then the next day I wash my shorts out in hot water and just let any leftover dye drip out because I didn't want to stain my washing machine. And then I just threw it in the washing machine for like 30 minutes, really short, and closed it up. And I just let it out to dry, I didn't put it in the dryer. Okay, so this is obviously optional, but now you get to take your studs. My studs were from a studded belt. I took them off a studded belt and then I painted them silver because they were originally white. Or you can order them off Etsy. 
My studs, I ordered them off Etsy and they took forever to come so I just had to end up doing this. So these are the ones I painted. But anyways, you want to just push them in there and then close the ends. It's pretty self-explanatory. And yeah, I did that for like, and then I pushed them down with a tweezer and you can't feel it at all. Like when I watch people do studs, I was like, oh, I would feel it, you know. No, you don't feel it at all. So just stud down that entire like line. And then I did kind of this like layering step thing. So like it's pretty self-explanatory, but like each one going down, I like lost one. So then it looks really cool, it looks like steps or whatever, and I did that to both sides. So this video is part of a collaboration, and if you want to see Crazy Ray Ray's video, you can click right here.